In this Madden 22 breakdown, I'm going to be breaking down how you can play match defense against Gun Bunch, some of the pro or some of the basic rules and functions of the cover four quarters, the base match defense out of the split field defense. So if you want to take a look at this, I would really encourage you to do that. I think you're going to get a lot of value out of this. We're going to kind of break down the special check that quarters has whenever you go into bunch. Now, if you're new to the channel, I would just ask that you hit that subscribe button. I post new Madden videos like this every single day. Every day we break down offensive and defensive tips and tricks. So if you want to get better on either side of the ball, I would guarantee you that you're going to find something on this channel that is useful. Now, with that being said, I also wanted to quickly uh, point out that I just released a full game plan based around match coverage. We actually dove really deep into match defense and kind of tried to study and learn as much as we possibly could about cover three match, cover four palms, cover four quarters, cover six, all of those different types of match defenses and tried to teach how they actually apply to things like gun tight or gun spread or gun bunch, for example. And so if you wanna get the entire defense, one of my favorite things about match, specifically quarters, is that it is adaptable. And with just the right amount of adjustments, if you understand the defense and understand some of the weaknesses, you can kind of guard against that and you can actually find that this is a very good defense in my opinion. So that being said, if you haven't picked up the match game plan yet, I'm gonna put a link to that in the comment section and in the description below. You can get the entire defense for just $15, but I also wanted to let you know that you could get all of my eBooks all season long by picking up our true fan membership. Our true fan membership is a month to month deal. It's 10 bucks a month. And if you if you want to, you can cancel it at any time. So you don't have to stay or whatever, you can cancel. You're still gonna get access to the guides. So if you wanna support the channel, that's the best way to do it. Become a true fan member. I'm gonna put a link to that as well down in the description. And again, that's just $10. And we've released almost, uh, I think we've released nine eBooks so far this season. So that being said, let's get into the video. We're going to talk today about cover four quarters out of nickel 335 Will. Uh, I'm in the Steelers playbook, but you can honestly find this defense out of a lot of different formations. Um, the interesting thing about this is if you wanted to run some cover six, let's say you wanted to run some cover six from 245 odd or nickel triple, you could actually essentially recreate quarters within that. We'll do that. We'll break that down in a future video, but just wanted to kind of put that on your radar. Now, the way that I like to defend Gun Bunch, specifically from quarters, is you're going to get what is known as a box check. Essentially, what that means is that these guys are going to create a box. Um, so this guy, Jackson, is responsible for the top outside corner of the box. So he's going to play any corner routes. Um, this guy is responsible for the top inside uh, corner of the box. So he's going to play vert anything vertically. And then this guy's responsible for the bottom outside corner of the box. So he's going to do a really good job at defending things like tight end flat routes. And then lastly, this defender right here, the three red hook, is responsible for the bottom inside corner of the box. Now, the interesting thing about the box check is you not only get a box check to the bunch side, but you actually, when the way quarters works, is you get what's called a solo check to the back side. And what a solo check essentially means is it's primarily used for sets that are in three receiver form. So, for example, uh, wide trips weak, gun tray open, gun bunch. Those are good examples of where you have three receivers to one side of the field and you have another receiver that is split out as a solo wide receiver. So what you get is you get this solo check and essentially the way that works is this player here on the outside left is going to essentially guard Mike Evans, the solo receiver there, no matter what. He's in what's called meg coverage, which means man everywhere he goes. He's man locked on the backside. And there is decent argument to say that this guy is as well. I will say that if like the running back runs like an in route, typically this quarter flat will release him, especially if there's like a slant coming back side. Again, the thing that I like about this coverage is that it adapts to the routes. It changes based on what types of routes they run. And that's one of the main reasons why I like it so much. So that all that to say, this guy primarily is playing in relationship with the running back. If the running back stays in, then he's going to look for work to the trip side or to the to the bunch side. Um, and then this guy right here is in what I would call, he's kind of like your poach defender. Um, essentially, he is like your robber defender. He's going to come over the middle field. He's kind of your free safety, if you will. Like, he's free to do whatever he wants. The biggest thing and the most important thing, though, that he can do primarily is if any of those three bunch receivers, in the example of, like, verticals, if you take a look at the route combo, 
with Godwin going on a crossing route, that's really his primary responsibility. He's really responsible for deep, deep crossing routes. Um, and then if the tight end goes vertical, uh, he would be responsible for that. So, for example, if I were to go to the play, uh, clear out SE out, and I were to streak the tight end, this free safety would be responsible for that. Okay, the same if he's on a post, the same if he's on a crosser. Okay, so he's in a relationship with the tight end primarily, but again, you still get that box check to the bunch side. So that's kind of something that you need to understand. This is different than the way quarters normally works. The way quarters normally works is this guy would be in relationship with number one, this guy would be in relationship with number two, this guy would be in relationship with number three. Now that does apply if they motion this out. Okay, so just some things that you need to be aware of. That being said, let me show you kind of how the solo check works. So when I said that um, Mike Evans, he's man on, he's man lock whenever he goes, let me show you an example. So if I take Mike Evans and I put him on a drag and then I put the running back on a wheel, I just want you to watch how, uh, how this is going to play. And what you're gonna see here is he is man lock on the drag. You see how he follows him all the way across the formation and is essentially in man coverage. Okay, the same thing is true. Let's say that Mike Evans runs a deep, um, let's say he runs a C route, like a, a corner, uh, a little little corner uh, corner route here. Take a look at that. You see he's man locked on him. And as you can see, he's going to basically be re re responsible for defending that player. The same thing with the running back. So if, if I were to take this uh, Mike Evans here and I were to put him on a deep out route and I put the running back on a streak, Watch this quarter flat. He should, for all intents and purposes, take that deep streak. And as you see there, he pretty much does. Obviously, if you click on there, you're going to be able to make a play. So that's kind of how the backside of the defense works. It's why I said in the beginning that if you wanted to run uh, cover six, if you think about what cover six looks like, this if you take this left side, this is kind of what cover six looks like. It looks essentially, uh, essentially like this right here. Well, what you could do if you wanted to is you could just go ahead and simply man lock these backside and then you could just user this guy. And again, remember your responsibility. You're looking for shallow crossers. You're looking, or not shallow crossers, I apologize. You're looking for, for deep crossers. And what you'll see is if I do those adjustments, this is still gonna play really, really good across the board, as you can see. Remember your primary responsibility, you have to do your job. What part of running match defense is understanding what your job is and doing it. Your job, is working to the crossers. The, the deep crossers are your job. Now, I wanna take just a quick moment here and I want to hit on one other thing uh, with this with this um, box check. So let's say for example that I go to the play clear out SE out and I streak uh, the tight end and I know the tight end streaks are glitched, but let's just say I streak the tight end, okay? I just want you to watch, I'm gonna let this coverage run and I've got a corner out there and I just want you to watch what happens. So you're gonna see here this tight end Who's responsible for that? Oh, look, it's it's not exactly that safety, okay? And that's what's really interesting. So that's, again, the box check. Because nobody's running first to the flat, there's nobody going to the flat. Watch what happens here. You see, look what happens. You get match from this quarter flat defender on this tight end. Now, let's send the running back, for example, here to the flat, and then I'm just gonna run this like this. And now let's take a look at this defense. What you're gonna see here is again, you got that man lock on the backside from the backside quarter flat, and then that three rec defender is working in that relationship. So what are some things that you need to watch out for? In my opinion, a couple things. The first thing you need to watch out for is um, deep out routes from the, for example, from the play flood. Now, the most popular bomb in Madden um, is clear out SE out, and all they're gonna do is they're gonna put this corner route here, maybe put it in route, and what you're gonna see here is the circle receiver will oftentimes glitch this out. This is not defended properly. It's primarily due to the fact that that is a fade route, a glitchy fade route. So an easy thing that you can do to take that away is to go ahead and put that safety on the right side in a deep half. He's still going to essentially play like his original job, which is if there's anything, um, the top inside of the box, he's gonna take that. So you'll see here, if I run that same route combination, now you're gonna see that that deep half defender will defend that, that outside quarter will defend the corner, and you got pretty good coverage, okay? The problem with that is that then opens you up to this play called flood. And the play called flood 
what you're going to see is if I put a deep half out here, now we're going to have a little bit of a problem. And the major problem with this is that you can just throw that out route. You can throw that out route, throw that out route, throw that out route, throw that out route. And so when you think about match, two issues primarily is you've got your flood out route and then you've also got this out route to the back. So uh, let me show you real quickly here. I'm just going to put that deep half there. I want you to watch this running back in route. Uh, normally will get open as you can see and then they can turn it up now again it's only a 10 yard gain you'll kind of live with that but how can we shut that down well i will tell you that in the ebook we actually break down a really crazy adjustment that you can do against gun bunch that will take the bomb away without having to worry about anything from deep halving or you don't have to deep half at all you can play straight match which makes you much more effective against the running back route and the corner routes or not the corner routes but the um and the, the deep, like the inverted fades or the deep fades, okay? So how do we defend flood though? Well, what I like to do, like I said in the original thing, is if I sent, if I truly sent everybody vertical, let's just go to four verticals, for example, what you're gonna see here, and even if I take R1 and streak him, I just want you to watch how quarters is gonna play this. You're going to see that that backside safety really doesn't have anything to do and that's the to me a, a, an area where we can kind of capitalize on because we can basically take the the, the quarter flat and change his zone and it's going to significantly help us defend both the running back end route and the flood out route and the way that we can do that is we're going to simply go ahead and we're going to deep half on that side but then what we're going to do is we're going to put that outside uh corner into a curl flat i like to base align this because that will help him significantly defend flat routes. And what you're gonna see is if they go to the play flood, and you're even doing something like this with your user, if they try to throw that, it's gonna be picked every time. So again, we're just simply putting that guy in a curl flat, and then we're putting the deep half out there. Now, how does that do against the play that we just talked about, the gun bunch with the vertical concept? Well, again, you gotta understand your user responsibility. You don't really have to do anything on the back side. You've got man coverage, it's gonna play fine. You know, they might hit you underneath a little bit, but the bottom line is you're gonna be okay, okay? So if they go to something like this and, and you see all three go to the vertical, then you can, feel, you can kind of work to this area just like this. And as you can see, you know, we're gonna play pretty decent. So again, if you're looking for a crossing route, if you see a crossing route, you need to go get the crossing route. If you don't see a crossing route, then you're free to work to the bunch side. So like right here, I'm gonna be kind of playing in relationship with the slot. If the slot goes to the crosser, then I'm gonna go get it. So as you can see here, now you've got good poach coverage on the backside for the, the tight end and everything's pretty well covered, okay? So that is a little bit about how you work the quarters into your coverage. Now again, the true quarters defense, like I said, if you play a good player that knows what they're doing from bunch, you're going to get this right here. This bomb right here, in my opinion, is the best cover four quarters beater in the game, okay? You're going to get it. There are ways around it. There are ways to stop it. And one of those ways is to deep half. The, there's other ways to stop it, though, as well. And like I said, in our ebook on this, we actually break down a really, really crazy adjustment, which allows you to basically keep all of your matching principles and allows you to take away pretty much every major way they're gonna try to beat this defense with, I think, just one adjustment. So I would really encourage you, if you've not picked up the match defense, I believe it's it's a, it's a guide that has really probably been two years in the making as far as studying and, and studying and studying and studying. I've studied the best players in the community that run match as their primary defense. I've studied uh, NFL teams, I've studied college coaching books, and I just have to tell you that I feel like this defense is my favorite to play. It's by far my favorite way to play this year, and I would really encourage you, if you've not picked up the match defense yet, I'm gonna put a link down below. You can get it in the description or the comments, and there's gonna be a link there. I would really encourage you to join the membership because it just gets you access to everything, and it's only 10 bucks a month. But if you want to get just the match defense itself, I really think if you're only going to get one of my ebooks for the year, this is the one that I would recommend. And it's just 15 bucks. So again, there's links in the description and there's a link in the comments as well. If you want to check that out and grab that match defense today, let me know what you think. I hope you enjoyed the video and we'll see you guys later.